Hi guys, how's everyone doing today? I want to talk a little bit about pigeon enemies. So we all know the hawk, eagles, some people live in different parts of the country, have different outdoor predator. Some guys around here have rodent problems, rats. I've seen a lot of rats in pigeon lofts and they come for the seed and they can be big problems. I don't have rats. I have hawk problems outside when they're flying. But around me, I have a problem with squirrels. Red ones, gray ones, black ones. I hate them. I don't have the heart to kill them because I love animals. So I try to block the cages out. But here's the problem I have. Yesterday morning, I came home. Found a baby squirrel in my front yard. Left him there for about an hour. No parent came back and retrieve him. So here I am today with my little buddy. My little buddy, the baby squirrel. And we're gonna try to get him a little bottle here. I just got back from the feed store and I got myself a little bottle. Mixed up some uh, milk. So even though pigeon flyers, we have enemies with other animals it doesn't mean we can kill them all. I mean, I understand having, you know, rat problems and you got to poison them and you know, you guys got to remember God gave us all these animals for a reason. I can't stand honestly squirrels. They are my enemy. But this little guy this little guy did nothing to me. Come on, buddy. He's just a baby. Let's see if he'll drink it. He's never drank a bottle. Never had him drinking bottles. This is the first time. I gotta feed him because I know he's gonna be hungry and die. Look at there, guys. Taking milk off the bottle. I mean, isn't that gratifying? This guy's gonna grow up and be a pain in my ass. I know it. You know? Look at him go. He knows it's there. Guess I should have picked a better shirt to wear to show you what was going on there because he's kind of gone. Come on, buddy. You want some more? You want some more? So I guess this is going to be my new buddy for another week or so. He's so tiny, he doesn't seem, he seems a little malnourished, dehydrated. I don't know if he got kicked out for a reason. Here, buddy. This is where it's coming from, right here. There it is. There it is. He'll figure it out. It'll get better for us. Look at him go. Got one hand on it. Good job, baby. So my moral of this story is, even though we have enemies, I, I don't have a heart to just let them die like that, right? This little guy's so cute, he's never done nothing to me. Look at how cute he is. This is our first feeding. He's so wobbly. Say thank you, Mr. Ken. Thank you. Cutest little. All babies are cute, right? You want some more? You don't have to clean it off your hands. We ain't stingy like that around here, guy. Oh, you're going to fall over off my table. Loving it. Come on. Just a baby. So we try, even for our enemies. You know, we all have a good heart in the animal world. So I'm gonna do what I can with him. I know it's got nothing to do with pigeons, but 
Actually, I guess it kind of does because I did learn something. I'll tell you real quick. You guys know how I like to uh, feed Jiffy and stuff like that. I was actually, I got this puppy Esbilac. I know my words are backwards there, but it's a powdered milk for puppies. And I was reading the back of it. Crude protein, 33%. Crude fat, 40%. All this is is protein and fat. So you know who's probably going to start putting that in his food for his for his young baby pigeons. Come on, buddy. You want some more? You want some more? Yeah, you want more. Look at, he wants a lot. He's a hungry little guy. But uh, All right, guys. That's my video for the day. Thanks for watching. And uh, wish us luck, all right? Bye.